www.mogulspeaks.com. Starting with Sean Combs, also known as P. Diddy and Puff Daddy. He is the promo king all the way back to using the Big Mac case for the Biggie and Craig Mac uh, launch. He's the CEO and founder of Bad Boy Records. This man ran a marathon holding a bottle of Ciroc for promotion. He's a rapper, producer, business mogul, and he's super funny on social media because nowadays you really have to leverage your social media in order to keep people interested. It, so he's excellent at that. Moving on to Jeff Bezos, everyone who knows who Mr. Amazon is, uh, he killed Borders Books and the paper book at the same time. He came back and he killed eBay by making a shopping platform bigger than eBay, okay? And you know eBay was the thing. Amazon came right through with Prime, better customer service. What is better than getting something you really, really want the same day or the next day while at at the same time employing so many uh, people who drive for Amazon, they deliver for Amazon, and they make additional money through Amazon. Moving on to Sean Carter, aka Jay-Z, Jigga Man, Beyonce's husband, uh, can you say Rock Aware, Rock Nation, Rockefeller Records. This man is out here putting deals together that people did not think that someone from Marcy Project being able to put these deals on the table that are lucrative for all involved. Uh, moving on to Drake, played the soft entertainer, and he's done that long enough. I mean, I was just watching Joe Budden. Joe Budden has a podcast, and one of the gentlemen on that show said, you know, he plays soft long enough, and I totally agree. And Charlemagne has said the similar things. Drake played Mr. Softy. It turns out he's not so softy. He's out here, um, <laughs> you know, doing what everybody else is doing, but he definitely played to the ladies. Moving on to Andy Spade, which is K.A.'s husband. They were, there was just um, an apparent suicide with Kate Spade. And so he's the father to at least one little girl that, that they shared together. They started this purse in this fashion kingdom. And having to care for a child after one parent is no longer there, he deserved to be uplifted. And so I did add Andy Spade. Donald Glover, uh, Childish Gambino, he's Danny's Glover's child. He did the song, This Is America. This song was at over 200 million views by the third week. It's insane. I mean, it's it, it's being viewed in the millions. It, it's only 21 days and this thing has been viewed 200 million times. So he thinks, he raps, he writes, he produces, and you never know what's coming next. I don't know if a clothing line is coming, but look at some of the imagery in that This Is America video, some of the references. You know, it's something you can really look into and think about. So moving on, Robert Kardashian, uh, he's been on the long-running docu-series Keeping Up With The Kardashians. He's the father of Black China's daughter. Black China is a mogul in her own right and they do share a daughter together her name is dream he comes off to me as one of the sweetest kardashian jenner clan or tribe or whatever uh it just shows that even though they have such a successful platform that it can be difficult to launch products because he has the least products of all of the kardashians so you know what's different is it just uh, that he can't flaunt the body or is there something else missing Billionaire PA. Now, this is a young speaker. This is the author of a book that costs literally more than $800. You are investing in yourself with this one. Um, it just speaks to the value and to mindset that successful people have. Uh, it's a well-branded platform that he has, including the weekly Speak Dreams reality show. It's something that I was interested in. It's something that I took a peek at. You may want to look at it as well. Les Brown. Now, this is a highly sought after business resource. He speaks for Fortune 500 CEOs, small business owners, nonprofit, and he has the story about being a radio disc jockey that's really touching. It's something you have to look up 
and really take the time to understand but this man he gets the bag for speaking so that's why he's on this list adam sandler this comedian <laughs> in his own words he's not particularly talented he's not particularly good looking and yet and still he's a multi-millionaire he does movies that some people don't think are funny they, some people think he's a terrible actor but then he puts his own money where his mouth is he pushes through and he makes a pretty good return on his movies and he's able to put out what he wants to put out uh, nate gray this is the author of a winning perspective he's a chicago native that speaks about uplifting yourself to achieve your dreams he runs a motivational youtube channel called the nate gray zone where you can find videos on commitment and being consistent and really nailing down a life plan so if you already are like right on the cusp of doing something great and you need an additional push his page will be awesome for you to check out push your t He and his brother are were self-made rap royalty. They made their own kingdom and Pusha refuses to budge from the premises. He's the president of good music. Pusha T does what they call drug music or rap music and being able to write and be good at the pen and be consistent and put out good music, you know? Uh, moving on to Courtney B. Van. Now this guy, he's a Tony Award winning American actor known for roles such as TV shows, State of Affairs and Revenge, the TV movie American Crime Story, People vs. O.J. Simpson. He's married to my girl, Angela Bassett. She doesn't know she's my girl yet, but in, you know, that's my buddy. You know, you can't tell me anything different. Uh, he's been on Law and Order. Dun, dun, dun. And I think that, I mean, I love to see him in movies. I thought that he was in something else, like a Spike Lee joint or Waiting to Exhale. I'm not sure, but yeah. I like him. Uh, let's see. Up next is E-40, Earl Stevens. He's been in rap since the late 80s. He's definitely rap royalty. I want to be saved and sprinkle me, man. So he sells everything. He slangs water, slurricane, wine, and beer. He and his wife have been together, and I believe they even have a winery. So if you want to know how to get into the liquor business, this may be a mentor for you. You may want to reach out. Moving on to Floyd Money, May Floyd Money Mayweather. He is a boxing promotion powerhouse. If he's not a billionaire by now, he'll be one soon, but definitely he's passed $700 million. Um, $700 million. Per his management, he always wanted to learn from, from billionaires and like pick their minds. And it's just a funny story that on Dancing with the Stars, when everybody else went out for lunch, he chose to spend his time with Mark Cuban listening to what Mark Mark Cuban had to say instead of wasting that time to learn from a billionaire and that just tells you to listen listen to your mentors take opportunities to be mentored in open space and open time next we have Clinton Shaft Raphael I added him because I mean this man brought Cardi B from obscurity and he is suing her for no less than 10 million dollars supposedly he helped her craft her style he chose her beat and this man wants his money just because she busts on the scene and got on love and hip-hop i mean i don't know what part he did but she made it there so i'm like whoa you want that's a bag that's 10 million dollars like what did it was it 10 million dollars worth but i mean if he picked bodak yellow I don't know. I don't know what money he has in on that. But Mr. Clinton Shaft Raphael is somebody you may want to look up. Mm. Next, we have Master P. He founded No Limit Records. He is the original ice cream man. He made movies that he literally owns the masters to. If you have 10K and you need to know how to flip it, you may want to call Master P because that's what he did. He took money from his family and he flip, 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 flip. I don't know if you call that even flipping it. It's way more he parlayed that into something major uh moving on to max maxwell if you're not into wholesaling real estate chances are you do not know who max maxwell is but that's okay google him and find out because this man is major he's the face of his investment group and i patterned the use of my virtual assistants after him or after something that he posted in one of his videos he speaks about real estate but i have a feeling we'll see him on a larger platform soon because 
he's really speaking about uh, systems and ways to run your business. So with a certain amount of input, you have more output, things that you learn in different masterminds. And I have a feeling that soon he's going to be packaging that information up if he hasn't already done that. And it will be for sale and it may be something that you want to buy. Uh, moving on, Jack Jackson Teller, which is a character uh, played by Charlie Hunnam. He is from Sons of Anarchy, an English actor. And this man has been in some other stuff that I don't watch because I watch reruns of Sons of Anarchy, Sex in the City, along with Good Times and the Jeffersons and Blackish and especially the one with that lady from England on there. What that Vanderpump lady, I like her, but yep. So these are some of my shows. Moving on, we only have two left. Will Smith is number 20. I was only supposed to have 20, but I bumped my number 20 to 21 because I thought he was bigger than that. And I had to put in Will Smith. So I added Will Smith because, of course, he's a mega movie star and, you know, something like a rapper. And he's super funny on social media. But he has Willow and Jaden, and they're out here doing major things. He's married to Jada Pinkett Smith. But what I like about Will Smith. I like that when his family members are doing things, he's sharing it, he's putting it out there, and he's really showing like, hey, this person is important to me, and I'm going to showcase them instead of me always having to be this big, big star. Finally, roll, drum roll, number 21 is Ice Cube. Yay, yay. Created Friday. He is rap royalty. He has the big three. The man coined by Felicia. Ice Cube is someone to look at about how to maintain yourself and your brand and still go into different ventures make money still have a committed marriage at home still take care of your children you don't have to be superman but man you can get out here and really 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 take care of business that's all i have thanks for listening thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos on your favorite social media mogul and click the bell we always have contests and you never know what you can win Toosies.